American Water Polo. Hi, this is Damon Newman from American Water Polo. Uh, we're here today to profile club team Windy City Water Polo and one of its players and athletes, um, Pete Banalskis. Uh, Pete, just wanted to uh, you know check in and see how things are going for you, to see how you're doing lately. Tell me a little bit about yourself, you know, where you go to school, you know, where you live, where you're located, and how long you've been playing for the club team. Sure. Um, well, I'm a junior at Fenwick High School. I live in Western Springs, Illinois, which is about 20 minutes away from Fenwick, which is where Windy City is located. Um, I've been playing at Windy City ever since I started going to Fenwick, which was three years ago. Uh, I really like the club team. We just It's a lot of more gameplay type play, so that's what I really value in our club. Awesome. So... You know, as of right now, we're we're in the we're in the uh, you know the COVID nineteen you know pandemic. Um, obviously, your school is doing online learning. Can you tell me what that's been like for you and what that experience has been? Well, it's been interesting because we're the students are as much um, in the new part of it as the teachers, where it's all just a big experiment. We started online learning about two weeks ago, so as it's progressed, it's been getting a little bit better. So the typical day of online learning is we sign in to our Schoology accounts, which is what we use for school, at 9 a.m. And then depending on the teacher, you either have a Zoom conference, like I had this morning with physics, or they give you videos online and you just do the assignments throughout the day. And about every day, the assignments are due at 4 p.m. just to simulate you're getting all your work done as the school day progresses. Right. Yeah, when I was talking to uh, Coach Perry yesterday, um, you know, one of the things that came up is, you know, some of the challenging things in, in terms of, um, you know, classroom discussion. Um, you know, what are some of the things that, they, that they've been trying to do, to, I guess, to, to spur discussion? Well, on Schoology, I cool feature of it is there's these discussion pages where everyone can post responses and some of the assignments that have to do with that is you can respond to whatever prompt the teacher says and the main assignment would be you write a response and then you respond to three other people's things so it ends up just being like a big discussion within typing as well as there's something called Flipgrid that we use where it's more of a video response thing and I use that for English and theology where again you speak and take a video of the response you want and then you just go through and respond to as many people's responses as possible and then again it just ends up being a big discussion. Oh, that's great. Well it seems like you know teachers are just learning how to to use the tools that are available for them and and things are going to make we're going to make things work here. Yeah. So you've, you've been playing for Windy City for since you started going to Fenwick. Now, how did you get into playing water polo? Well, I've always been a swimmer. I just started out swimming and doing everything from when I grew up. But how I got into water polo was I live in Western Springs, so I swam at LT Swim Club, mm -hmm. uh, which is in my town. And the way that pool worked is there would be a swim practice on one side and a water polo practice on the other side. So as I was swimming back and forth every single day, I'd see the other pool having a lot more fun. <laughs> so then I just decided to go for it, try water polo, and then I just kept playing, and I loved it, and then when I went to Fenwick, Fenwick has been known for years to be a really good water polo team, so I just jumped into the program and went from there. That's great. That's great. Yeah, that, that's, uh, you know, a lot of swim coaches out there are cringing if they hear that, you know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. That's kind of how it happened to me, too, you know, swimming yeah. for a number of years, and then, you know, just falling in love with the sport, so. What uh, are you doing any type of training right now? Any kind of dry land? Um, you know, what are you doing to just, just uh, I guess, you know, keep yourself active? Right. Well, I was lucky enough to be raised in kind of a fitness heavy family. So we have a bunch of like dumbbells and stuff at home. So I've been using those a ton. And then pretty much every morning I've been going on runs. So just trying to keep my endurance up, keep the cardio up to kind of replace the swimming that I'm not getting. And then just kind of moving around as much as possible. Don't want to stay sitting all day. Right. All right. Can you, do you have like a, do you have a favorite dry line exercise? Favorite dry line exercise. Um, I really enjoy, like, 
I do a, I do this set where we have a pull-up bar, and so I do five pull-ups, five push-ups, five sit-ups, and five squats, and then just do that till fail. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. That sounds that sounds tough. Yeah, it's a good workout though. I love it. Yeah, that's great. Um, so, what do you miss most about you know not playing, not being able to get in the pool? Well, I think I just miss the water. I've always loved the water. Um, I was born in California, so I was right next to the beach. So we used to go play in the water every day. That's how really I got into swimming. So as I've grown up, I've been in the water pretty much every day. And this break right now is probably the longest time I haven't been in a pool in years. So it's just more of the fact that I'm breaking a habit that I actually really enjoyed having. But as well as not seeing everybody, just the sport that I love, not being able to play it, it just all comes together. Just, I miss it. Yeah, yeah, I would say that that's, you know, the camaraderie being with your, with your teammates and your coaches and, and, you know, kind of being a you know, shared experience, I think is, exactly. is something that I think, uh, you know, a lot of athletes miss. You know, I'm, I'm sure speaking from, from experience that I would probably be feeling the same way having played water polo for a number of years. Yeah. So you're a junior, correct? Right. Do um, you have any plans? Uh, what, what are your plans for, for college, um, I guess, in the coming years? Well, what, I've what, always what, kind what, of, what, yeah. What? Um, how I am is I'm a student athlete, so I take the student part really seriously. Sure. So I want to try and use water polo to get into the best college I can. And for me, I would love to play for a D1 program, but if it doesn't work out with the college I want to go to, then it's kind of a secondary thing. But um, overall for college, um, I've always been STEM, so I want to do some sort of engineering. And then I'm very social, so I want to do something business-wise. So just put those two together, and that's kind of what I want to do. Great. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're usually junior year or jun junior spring and uh, summer is when yeah, you tend to get get out to a lot of colleges. Um, you know, that, that your plans are probably put, put put on hold for a little bit, but I'm Both sure. Are, yeah. I'm sure your parents and you will will figure out some way to 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 check them, some things out. Yeah, absolutely. So you know, lastly, you know, are you watching any good shows right now? Yeah, have you have you delved dove into any you know you know good series or anything like that? Yeah, I've kind of fallen into the Netflix trap a little bit. Okay. Where <laughs> Um, I've just been, once I finish all my stuff for the day, I can't really go out and do a ton. Um, so I've been watching the show called Merlin, which is about King Arthur and Camelot, but it's like a younger version. Okay. So it's just like all magic and adventure and I love it. Merlin. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm looking for, I'm always looking for a new show. Definitely recommend it. Merlin. All right. Perfect. Excellent. Hey Pete, I, I really appreciate the time. I, I I love learning more about you know Windy City, um, you know, and also your experience right now. Um, you know, you know, being inside for for majority of the day and your um, your experience with online learning. Um, if this is Damon Newman from American Water Polo, and check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and our website AmericanWaterPolo.org. And remember, it's important to stay connected to what's important to you.